Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. We're starting off a brand new week, a brand new vlog. And I wanted to start off this vlog by introducing you to our sponsor for this portion of today's video, Jabby Coffee. I have worked with a Jabby Coffee in the past and I really enjoyed their coffee. They sent me over like the concentrate. It's like a, uh, like a coffee concentrate and it was really good. But this right here, they came out with a new product. It's their instant protein coffee. So each serving has 10 grams of protein. You just put it into like a little shaker or you could froth it. So this would be really great if you, you know, drink this before or after you work out. I'm gonna give it a try now. Let me show you what it looks like. Ooh, well, you can't really see that. Looks like chocolate milk, which of course I love. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. I was totally expecting it to be like really sweet. This is literally coffee. Like it is just coffee and protein powder. So it's not like sweet. So if you're somebody that's trying to like stay low on your sugar intake, it has like less than one gram of sugar. Yeah, it does. And I was totally expecting this to be super sweet, but I'm glad that it's not. So if you wanted to add like your own sweetener or anything like that, you can totally do that because it is pretty much unsweetened. It's got 61 milligrams of calcium, 163 milligrams of potassium, and yeah, 10 grams of protein per serving, which is a serving is one scoop. So that's super nice. And also you can add ice to this. I probably should have done that, but I, didn't and I completely forgot, but next time I will add ice, but this is great. Thank you so much to Javi Coffee for sponsoring this portion of the video. I did want to let you guys know that I do have a discount code to share with you guys. It is Kenzie20 and you can use that discount code to get 20% off of your order on Javi Coffee. And I do have my own affiliate link that I will link in the description. It is right up like the first one in the description. So you can go shop and try this new instant protein coffee for yourself or any of of uh, Javi's other really, really great products like the coffee concentrate, stuff like that. So yeah, and thank you again so much to Javi Coffee for sponsoring this portion of today's video. All right, next thing that we're gonna do is I do have an unboxing quickly to share with you guys. A Nespresso unboxing, very excited about that. So I did end up getting a few new coffee pods. I got some oldies but goodies. I got, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. I actually did a quite a large order this time. Not like massive, but like I got more than I did last time. So I'm very excited. So let's start off with this one. This is double espresso dolce. I got this in a sample last time and I thought it was really, really good. So I thought that I would try this out. And then I got one more sleeve of my caramel one. I actually, I didn't get two sleeves of this this time because I'm actually leaning a lot more towards the uh, double espresso coffee pods than I am the big coffee pods now. Like, I don't know why. I feel like a lot of people that have the Nespresso machines end up liking the double espresso coffee pods more and i kind of do too so i got the i only got one of the golden caramel this time this was their caramel cookie as you know they like redid all of the like barista line and then this one i'm really excited about this one is brand new and it is like a coconut one it is called tropical coconut flavor over ice i kind of want to try this one today because I do have vanilla creamer. I hope it's still good, but we'll see. I'm very excited. Here's what it looks like. It looks very, very summery. It looks really cute. Like I love the box. And here's what the actual pod looks like. It is a bigger pod, but it's supposed to be over ice, so it's fine. This is the double espresso dolce. And then here is the golden caramel you've seen this one plenty of times i actually picked up two of the ice leggero this time because i really really like the ice leggero i think it's fantastic and it is a double espresso pod that is meant to be poured over ice love this 
and yeah, I got two of those, very happy about it. And then I got one more of my Costa Rica. I tried the Costa Rica one last time I did an espresso haul and I really ended up liking it. So here is what the Costa Rica looks like. I love this beautiful blue color, it's so pretty. And this one is new. This is the Nespresso Starbucks Reserve. So I guess they like collabed with Starbucks and it's the Remix Blend really really pretty box and here is what it looks like Ooh, okay i want to say it is a double espresso as well i don't know but here's what it looks like it's quite dark i think it's supposed to be a pretty strong pod so i will keep you updated i got two of orondio because i have been loving these as iced coffee pods they're so creamy like they're so nice so i became obsessed with doing these as an iced coffee they're really good and then one more i got this and this packaging is so beautiful look at this so so nice and it is the uh, reviving origins cafecito de puerto rico here is what this one looks like so I want to say this is either a regular espresso or a double espresso and I'm not entirely sure which one it is but I'm very excited to try this out and see what I think. But you guys that has been my Nespresso haul. I'm going to go ahead and as you know what we do after we do an Nespresso haul I'm going to take you over to the coffee station and we are going to sort out all of the pods and kind of put them in order make the Nespresso bar coffee bar look really cute so I'll take you over there and do that with you. Okay, sorry if you can hear my washer, I'm washing clothes, but I got the Nespresso area all restocked, so I did a few of the coconut ones, about six of those. I did about half a sleeve, or a little bit more than half a sleeve of these uh, caramel one because my mom drinks this one every time she comes over. I did a full sleeve of the Ice Leggero, and then I did a couple of the Double Espresso Dolce, about three. I did a whole sleeve of Orondio because I love these. I did about four of the Starbucks Reserve ones and about four of the Cafecito de Puerto Rico and I did a few of my Costa Rica. So that's what she's looking like now. Very nice. Hello, it's a little bit later. Welcome to Cooking with Kinsey. <laughs> so I saw this recipe on Instagram. It is like a spring summer pasta salad. So I've got these little like mini farfalle pasta. I've got cucumber banana peppers, hard salami, provolone cheese, grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and cabbage. So that's what we're gonna put in. I don't think this bowl is big enough. Uh-oh. I hate to get another bowl dirty, but I really do not think this bowl is gonna be big enough. All you really need to do, where's my phone? Oh, it's in my pocket. All I really need to do is just dump the ingredients in there and then I'll make a dressing. So now I'm gonna take all of my other ingredients and combine them. So I've got my tomatoes, I'll put these in here. And then I'll do my cabbage on this side. It's all gonna be mixed, so it doesn't really matter how it goes in. My cheese. So all of the stuff is in here now. What I'm gonna do is make the dressing. So it is a third of a cup of mayo, which I have right here, and it is one teaspoon of red wine vinegar, and then one tablespoon olive oil, I have that, and then a half a tablespoon of this spicy honey. I have never seen this before. Hopefully it's not too spicy, but seems good. Oh, I don't, I think I have oregano already. And I do have basil, red pepper flakes I already have, and then salt and pepper. Let's do it. All right. Everything is in and now we're going to mix it. Oh my God, it looks really good. 
And then we can put this in obviously like a container and like save it and have it for the next couple of days. Babe, look at this. Look how good. It's so colorful. The picture, picture was in my mind. Look at that. It looks very Mediterranean. It, it actually does. We eat stuff like that, you know? We do. Pasta salad is something we really eat. Oh, this is great. All right, here, you want this spoon? You want to try it? Yeah, it's great. Fantastic. Mm. You want some now? Si. Oh my God, that's so good. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Yay! Okay, my battery's gonna die. So I'll check in when something else fun happens, but that is so good, oh my God. Hello everyone, it is Tuesday. And the last, my phone going off now. The last time that you heard from me, I wanna say it was yesterday when after I made my pasta salad. It turned out great, I really enjoyed it. And then, what did we do? We didn't really do anything after that. Yeah, no, just hung out and that was it. Today, I went to UPS because I had to do a return. And guys, I just have to tell you, I need to get my passport. I need to get a name change done on my passport because I now have Raf's name and I just need to get it updated on my passport because it's updated on my driver's license. And it is so hard <laughs> to get your passport updated for some reason. Like it's stupid hard I don't know why because I need a verified copy of my marriage certificate which I only had one verified copy because that's all they give you and apparently like photocopies won't work getting shit from vital records is like impossible I did find a way that I could get a copy of my certified marriage certificate at like from the marriage office. Like so I had to fill out this form, get a money order. In order to get my name changed, I have because I can do it via the mail, which is great. I don't have to go anywhere. But in order to do it via the mail, I have to send in a certified copy of my marriage certificate. And I only have one of those. And it's currently being used because we had to go to Nashville to get an apostle for the marriage certificate that we have to verify that the marriage certificate is real because Italy is making Raf do that in order for him to get a new passport. This is just stupid. So it's just been in a, a, just a really crazy situation. Anyways, <laughs> and then, so we've been dealing with that I finished my book. Oh, I don't have my Kindle with me right now, but I finished my book, The Perfect Marriage. I'll put a picture of it right here. And you guys, I gave it like three, three out of five stars. It was okay. The twist at the end was pretty good. I genuinely was not expecting it, but it was just like weird. Like some of the writing choices were odd. Like there's like this situationship that shouldn't have happened. Like it did not need to be there. Like I don't know why it was there. And it didn't go anywhere either. It happened for like a couple of chapters in the book and then nothing came of it ever again. And then so it didn't need to happen in the first place. I don't think, I don't know why it was even there. The husband is on trial for murder. This isn't a spoiler. When you read the summary, that's what it's about. The husband is on trial for murder and then he's like super excited because his publicist or producer or whatever is wanting him to write a book about the whole situation. And he goes, oh my God, my dreams are finally coming true. I'm gonna be like a, a best-selling author. Like, are you not worried about over the fact that you're on trial for murder? And I already read another book after that. I read a book called Foster. Very, very short book, but I'm so glad I read it. It was very sweet. It's set in Ireland in like 1987 or something, but it's like, it's like a love story. It's so sweet, but it's like, not like a love story as in like a romantic love story. It's like a family love story, but it's really sweet. Also a tiny bit sad but the ending was just phenomenal. It's only like 64 pages long. It's very short, but I had the best time reading it. It was very sweet. I gave it like a four and a 4.5 stars. The only reason I didn't give it five stars is because before I read it, I didn't know it was set in Ireland and a lot of the slang I didn't really understand. So I had to kind of go back and reread parts a, a few times and I still didn't get it because it, you know, it's Irish slang, so I just I, I would not be able to get it. 
so I just kind of like went on <laughs> about my day not really understanding what that part meant. It's not that bad because you can still get the gist of what the book is about. I've still fully enjoyed the book. Yeah, I think that's it for now. I will come back and chat whenever something else fun happens. I'll show you what I end up wearing to dinner tonight. So yeah, I'll see you when something else fun happens. <laughs> All right, here is my outfit for going out to eat tonight. And this is a new Anita Bing for the spring summer 2023, I believe. I love this uh, jacket. It's really nice. It's like this beautiful green with like this cool brown patch, it's like a little pocket. I've got on my Abercrombie jeans, my white top from Cuts Clothing, my Sambas, and then I'm taking out the Gucci Ophidia today. But that's my outfit. everyone it is thursday now and i have an appointment with my gynecologist today woo um yeah i don't really want to go not because i don't want to go to my appointment but because it's just far away <laughs> it's in nashville and nashville is not that far but still it's just having to drive in nashville i'm just not about that <laughs> i made my coffee I'm trying to get Raf up kind of early today because he's going with me to my appointment <laughs> just so we can like go eat somewhere afterwards and plus I need him to go for emotional support. <gasps> he got up by himself. Oh my God. I'm not going for anything interesting. It's just like a routine pap kind of situation. I got my nails done yesterday. I showed like a tiny little clip. I get so anxious, not anxious, but I get so awkward when I film Mifa like do my nails because like she's not like just like a random person like i see her all the time and like i really like mifa like i consider her a friend so it's like weird for me to be like can i film you while you do my nails <laughs> anyways she did do my nails and she did a great job look at these very summertime very cool kind of like a a groovy <laughs> wavy pattern and she even told me she said kinsey i can't believe you're doing color on your nails i'm like i know because i like never do color on my nails i always do something neutral um and i said well just wait until fall and winter roll around it's all gonna be white black brown beige tan <laughs> i will show you my outfit whenever we go i'm not gonna dress like fancy or anything but i did get a new uh like hat in the mail, like a ball cap from Celine that I am really excited about. I ordered it a long time ago, like a few weeks ago. And it came in a couple of days ago, like at the beginning of the week, on Monday actually. And I don't know why it took so long. Like I ordered it like two, three weeks ago. And I don't know why it came in so late, but it's finally here and it's really, really cute. And oh my God, it's almost our birthdays, you guys. Last, um, last year at this time, me and Raph we're getting ready to go to New York. I'm actually gonna text our attorney to see if Raf still needs 
a passport to travel within the US or if he can just go, if he just needs his driver's license. Um, give me one second. Okay, I just texted our attorney to ask. I obviously know that I don't need a passport to travel within the US, but I didn't know if Raf still needed one because he's still considered foreign, but he has a green card now. He got his permanent resident card and he has, of course, a Tennessee driver's license. But I didn't know if he still had to carry his passport with him and show the passport just because he still is foreign. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Raf finally got out of the bathroom. So I'm gonna go talk to him. Good morning. All right, I am kind of rushing to get out the door because we need to leave. But this is my outfit for today. I haven't worn this brown cuts top in a long time. So I thought that I would throw this one on today. And then I have on my kind of like silk white top from Banana Republic. I've got on my Abercrombie jeans and my Sambas and I am carrying my Gucci bag. But this is what my makeup looks like today. Did we like? I didn't do anything. Oh, you can't even see it. I didn't do anything like super fancy, but yeah, this is my outfit, very cute. Good morning, everyone. Sorry that it's very dark right now, but it is now Friday. Guys, I completely forgot to vlog anything. I just didn't vlog anything at all yesterday when we were out in nashville i don't know why i just forgot I, I didn't even vlog with my phone i'm just not good at vlogging but i went to my gyno appointment everything went just fine i also got blood work done i didn't need to get blood work done but i wanted to get blood work done just to make sure that everything was good to make sure that everything was you know functioning as it should be because i'm kind of like a hypochondriac and I'm always afraid there's something wrong with me. So I got that done. They said that they would um, give me the results in a couple days. And then we went to, uh, I went to a place called True Food to eat and it's so good. They have this like a spicy vegetable curry. Uh, Raf wanted this uh, Italian place that was uh, kind of close by. And so we went over there and then we went into Cheesecake Factory to get desserts. We went to three restaurants. <laughs> yesterday which was nuts and then we walked around like the mall area a little bit oh i got pillows you guys oh my god i bought some stuff from casper i have never owned anything from casper before and they were having like a 25 percent off uh, memorial day sale and i've been really needing some new pillows like the pillows that i have i feel that that is what's contributing to me having such bad headaches all the time. Like I feel like my pillows are just not it anymore. So I got two pillows from Casper and I slept on them last night. Best sleep of my life, man. I am so happy. I got the original ones. I'll show you upstairs. I'll have to make the bed first because I'm not, I can't show you what the bed not made because it looks horrible. I'll show you as soon as the bed is made. And then I ordered two more from Amazon uh, this morning. If you get Casper pillows, I would recommend maybe doubling up and, and using two, unless you just really like a very soft pillow. I have a package coming in the mail today from Farfetch, which I'm really happy about. I will show you what that is. It's a pajama set very cool but i'm gonna let the puppies in really quick they're outside going potty and then i will take you upstairs so i can show you Ooh, i gotta take my jeans out of the dryer one second but i'll show you what the um pillows look like i got this stuff on amazon called bluing liquid and i just tried it today for the first time and i put it into a load of whites i will let you know if i did it right and i'll let you know if it works because i'm actually kind of afraid that i didn't do it right like i hope i diluted it enough before putting it into my wash but we'll see if everything turns out blue then i didn't do it right <laughs> Last clip, you saw that I was inside of Ulta, but I got my eyebrows laminated again, and then this time I also got a tint put on. Can you tell? Like, it looks really good, I think. And I love the lamination. I've all, I mean, I've always liked the lamination. I liked it when I got it done last time. But the tint, girl that did it said that she like mixed brown with like a tiny little bit of red so it would match my hair i don't see red at all but maybe she maybe she did but i like the way they look in general and then she waxed them and like shaped them a little bit so 
that's awesome. The girl checking me out was super rude. I don't know why, but that happened. All right, you guys, I made it back home and we are making the viral Big Mac tacos. I'm so excited. I literally only had to buy like three ingredients for this. It's exactly the same. Yeah, everything else I had at home. So I made the Big Mac sauce. It looks just like Big Mac sauce. Tastes just like it. Looked, yeah. I'm following this recipe by this girl right here. I actually saw her TikTok on it first. Yeah, I only had to buy pickles white vinegar and relish i had everything else at home so i will come back and show you the finished product oh, this is our first one oh my goodness uh how are the sides I'm sorry you're a little crooked, but I wanted to show you this. I can't fold it like a taco because I don't know if I put too much meat or something, but I can't fold it, so I'm just eating it like this. Let's see, let's find a good spot. So now how long, three minutes you said? Two. Mm. Well, you guys, I'm coming back. These are honestly a little bit of a fail. Like, I know I said they were good, but like, when I said that at the time, I thought they were pretty decent, but like, the more I kept eating them, I was just like, I don't like it. Maybe it's just me. I'm not a big meat person. Like, I do like meat sometimes. Um, oh. But like, I am not somebody that likes homemade hamburgers. Like, I know this wasn't a hamburger. I know it was considered like a taco, but it literally tasted just like a homemade hamburger, like a hamburger patty, and I just don't like it. <laughs> I like burgers from fast food restaurants sometimes. I think it's just the meat. I'm just not like a big meat person, but Raph said that he, he, Raph said that it was okay. He didn't even like it, so. And plus the, the meat would just not cook for some reason. Like we left it in there. We followed the directions, but the meat was like half raw. So maybe, maybe in another life it would have been great, but this wasn't that good. But try it for yourself though. Maybe, I, I, I probably could have done some stuff wrong. I think that I put the meat on too thick. I think I should have done like a thinner layer because then I would have been able to fold it. I don't know. Still try it. If you are like a big meat person or if you know, if you, if you think you'll like this, then I definitely think you should try it, but it wasn't the best one for me. Okay, it's a little bit later and I wanted to show you my package that I got from FedEx. I got it from Farfetch. Can you see it now? It's, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Hold on, let me see if I can move you. Yeah, so it's from Olivia Von Hale, which if you know, I have a pair of pajamas. Like I have a pajama set from her. <laughs> And on Farfetch, they were having like this huge sale. And I've been wanting this set. Oh my God, it's so cute. So they were on like mega sale. Look. It's got little zebras on it, you guys. Are you kidding? It's got little zebras. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And the set that I have right now is in a small. I got this in a medium. And I think I'm actually gonna like the medium a lot more than the small. And then it does have matching pants. So I think the medium will be like literally perfect. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna go put these on and then I'm just gonna wear these for the rest of the day. Oh, I've also gotta show you the pillows because I haven't showed you those yet. So let me take you upstairs. All right, so here is the bedroom and here are what these pillows look like. Sorry, the lighting's horrible, but I can't really do anything about it. They're so thick and fluffy. Oh my God, I love them. Uh, I already have them on my side over here. If you can see that, look how thick they are. <gasps> I slept on these last night and they are amazing. And then these are rafts over here. These are just old pillows, but I'm about to change them out with these brand new ones. 
So yeah, I'm very excited. And then honestly, that's all I'm gonna do for the rest of the day today. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because um, there's nothing else interesting or fun happening for the rest of the day. Tomorrow I do have D&D, &D, so that is pretty fun. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this vlog was. Let me know just in general if you enjoyed it. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to and be sure to ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!